These are five tools I can live without as a freelancer. Hey everyone, if you don't know me, my name is Sylvia and I've been freelancing for the past nine years, currently working as a social media manager and content creator. But you're not here from my life story, you're here from my tool recommendations, so buckle up and let's get to it. Let's start out with Upwork. <laughs> if you're not new here, if you've seen my content before, you'll probably know that I'm kind of an Upwork fangirl. I've been on the platform for my nine years of freelancing and honestly gotten over 90% of my clients over there. Upwork is great to find new clients that already know what they need help with, aka they are warm leads. And it's also great to protect us as freelancers. This is because they charge a client the full fee up front and they keep the money until you're done with the job, protecting you as a freelancer and the client as well. So basically it's nearly impossible for the client to walk away with free work and just never pay you. As long as you follow their rules, of course. They do take a portion of your earnings, but in my opinion, it's totally worth it. Next up, we have Google Calendar. Let's be honest, if you're a freelancer, you need to be organized. You need to be on top of every deadline, every call, and every miscellaneous stuff that you need to do for your clients. So honestly, I love Google Calendar just to manage all of that. I like to block off times to work on each client. I like to move around things as I need to. And also an easy way to see and get notified of any upcoming calls. Not only that, Upwork actually now has a call booking system that actually connects with your Google Calendar. So clients can directly book calls onto your calendar and it's super easy. For example, let's say I don't want any calls on my calendar next Wednesday, I'm doing something else or I want to be fully focused on my work. I can actually add a block to my Google Calendar and it will block off that time on Upwork so clients can book for that day. At the same time, like I said, when they do book on my calendar on Upwork, it'll automatically appear on my Google Calendar so there's no way that I can miss it. I actually did a full video on how I organize my days as a freelancer, so I'll link it down below in case you want to watch it. Now, before we move on, if you're a freelancer, let me know down in the comments what you do for your clients. On to our next tool, Trello. So if you're an organizational nerd like me, you'll love Trello. If you don't know, Trello is actually a project management tool, much like Asana or ClickUp, where you can basically create different boards for different clients and manage all your tasks and all your content that way. As a social media manager, I love using Trello to manage all the posts that I need to do for my clients and all the content that needs to go up. And basically I create a card for each individual post and then I can see it on the calendar. It's super easy to get clients to review it and it's just the best. <laughs> Actually, let me show you inside my own board. Inside my own Trello board, we have some resources, some ideas for future products. We have a list just for Instagram ideas, one just for YouTube, TikTok, and I believe the next one is done, yeah. <laughs> and then you can see here in the calendar view, we know exactly what's coming in the next couple of weeks. So that's Trello. Next up, we have Canva. Honestly, I feel like everyone and their mom has heard of Canva. Actually, I don't know if my own mom knows about Canva, but I have a feeling she does. But essentially, Canva is your best friend if you need to create any sort of graphic. If you're a social media manager, of course, you'll want to use it to create graphics or even videos for your posts. You can actually start with templates or create something from scratch, so it's super easy to use, super user-friendly. I'll try to show you some examples of things I've done with Canva right here on the screen. But even if you don't do social media, you can use Canva to create stuff like business cards, you can create like the little thumbnails or project cover images for your projects on Upwork. You can create a portfolio in a PDF format or even other documents for your clients. Or you can even create social media posts of your own, even if you don't do them for clients. And last but not least, we have Skillshare. I'm sure you've heard of Skillshare before, but if you haven't, Skillshare is basically an online course platform where people upload their courses and users like you can watch all of their courses with their easy membership. 
And I mean, as freelancers, we all want to improve our skills, right? And I don't know about you, but I'm always looking to improve my skills, both in the service that I offer and complimentary services that may help my clients, as well as skills that may help me as well improve my business as a freelancer. Like for example, again, I do social media, so I'm always trying to keep myself up to date with new platform updates or new marketing tactics. But I also like to learn about email marketing or web design in case a client needs help with that as well. And not only that, I've definitely used Skillshare in the past to learn things such as pricing, how to define my services, and even how to get more stuff done with the time that I have. I have my link down below if you wanna get a free month of Skillshare. And honestly, after that, it's like, what, $10 a month? Kind of the same as Canva Pro, which I forgot to mention. And honestly, those are two business expenses that I think are definitely worth it. I'll admit, I'm kind of a cheap ass, so anything I can use for free, I'll definitely do it. Like Trello, for example, you can definitely use Trello for free for a long time and never need to upgrade. I have never done that. And Canva too, honestly, although the pro version like just blows my mind, it's so good. But if you ask me, Skillshare is like the cheapest one of them all with everything you get out of it. Like if you think about it, most online courses are usually around $50. So with $10, you get access to all their library so if you ask me definitely worth it that being said if you have any questions about any of these tools or you want me to do a more in-depth video on one of them let me know down in the comments or shoot me a dm over on instagram i'm always there to help you guys and in the meantime i recommend you watch this video right here on how to sell your services as a freelancer and i'll see you there bye